So um, I grew up cradle Catholic and my parents always took me to Mass on Sundays and I would go to Catholic elementary school and I knew all the Bible stories from like watching cartoons but I didn't really have like a faith of my own. I saw Jesus as the one who lived a really long time ago and he did a lot of important things but then after he rose into heaven it really didn't matter anymore like that was over. Um, my faith journey really began when I read this book in third grade and it was about Our Lady of Fatima. So the story of Our Lady of Fatima was there was three little shepherd children and they were all kids with the oldest one being nine which was the same age I was when I read the book and they all had parents that brought them to church. They um, were forced to pray but they didn't really want to and they would rather do fun things than pray just like I was at the time and so it was really relatable. And as the story goes on, an angel appeared to them and told them to pray, and every month a lady would appear to them and pray the rosary with them for the conversion of sinners. And the last time she appeared was called the miracle of the sun, and the sun danced across the sky, and Mary appeared holding Jesus. And the part that stuck out to me was that Mary and Jesus actually came back. It wasn't 2,000 years ago and they forgot about us, they came back less than a hundred years ago and that stuck with me because I could see that maybe God was actually wanted a part in my own life. So as I continued to um, read more about the saints in school I started to notice like what the saints did to grow in holiness and to grow to love God and I wanted to follow that example. So some saints that I read about that really stuck out to me were St. Therese Lisieux, um, St. Rosa Lima, and St. Elizabeth of Hungary because they all had something in their life that I felt like that I could relate to. Whenever I was in 8th grade I didn't really have any friends and I felt really lonely and I decided that I would follow their example by um, praying to God and asking for His help whenever I felt that way. So I made a promise with God, which you're not supposed to do, and I said, God, I'll pray the rosary every day if you give me a friend. And of course, a friend didn't randomly come knock on my door and say, hey, we're best friends now because God told me to. But he actually did answer my prayer. So um, the more I started praying, the more I started realizing that God was my friend waiting for me to talk to him and that he was wanting to talk to me too. So the more I prayed the rosary, the more I became friends with God and I started actually liking to pray and I started liking going to Mass and I started making my own sacrifices to God because I wanted to, not because I felt like I had to. That's really what got me to start praying to God every day 